Imagine you have some data in two sheets and you have to combine them in a single sheet. They should be dynamic, meaning if one sheet is updated, it should reflect any combined sheet and you only have to use a single formula. It's easy, right? Just copy and paste and you're done. But what if we have dozens of sheets and we have to do this? Hello and welcome to our Excel Mastery series. In today's video, we'll be diving into one of the most powerful yet underrated functions, VStack. Whether you are a beginner or an advanced Excel user, this function will revolutionize the way you manage and organize data. So let's not waste any time and get started. Before we dive into the practical examples, let's understand what VStack is all about. VStack stands for Vertical Stack, and it's a powerful array function in Excel. Its primary purpose is to stack data vertically, allowing you to combine multiple rows or ranges into a single continuous list. This function comes in handy when you need to consolidate data from different sources or reshape your data for analysis. The syntax of VStack is straightforward. It goes like this. VStack, then within brackets, range 1, comma range 2, and so on and so forth. You can add as many ranges as you need and Excel will stack them vertically one below the other. Remember that all the ranges should have the same number of columns. Well, ideally, they should have the same number of rows too, but we have a trick up our sleeve to get around this limitation and we are going to share it with you today. Let's say we have students' data from lower kindergarten to class 5 spread across multiple sheets. As you see, every sheet has data for a single class and section and this way, we have about 31 sheets. We want to combine this student's data from all these 31 sheets into a single consolidated list. Here's how you can do it using VStack. Let's start in this blank sheet by copying and pasting all the headers. We just need the headers and as we mentioned, columns have to be same for VStack to work efficiently. All the data that follows will be coming up after these headers. Now in the first cell after the headers here, we will enter our formula VStack and now for the ranges, we have to select all the data from all the sheets after the headers. Now in my example, there are 31 sheets to do this. There may be more for you. So if you go about selecting each and every one of them, that will take ages. Instead, we'll do what we did in our 3D sum video, link of which is in the description and on the top right, if you know, just wanted to check that video too. We'll select the first sheet and then click on this arrow to go to the last sheet. And then, while holding shift, click on the last sheet. Now go back to our first sheet and select our data. Press enter and we are done. Here we have all the data from all the tables from all the sheets. Notice this blue line going across? That's the limit of your dynamic data. Remember, not all the cells have the VStack formula but only the first cell. In our case, A2. Everything else you see here has been the result of this formula. So if you delete this formula here, everything goes away. But we don't want to do that today. What will be the purpose of this video then? So we move ahead and notice our date of birth field needs to be formatted correctly. So let's do that quickly. Also, our phone number field and class field needs to be corrected. Now that we have our data collected from all the sheets, let's consider some what-if scenarios. What if we need to add some new admission in class 1? How do we make sure that those new admissions are automatically shown here? As a thumb rule, we should always create our sheets that would be as future-proof as possible. Let's see what is our strength of students in each class. Let's use maximum formula for this. We'll put our formula here. Now we know the maximum number of students in any class is 45. So we need to have our formula to add 45 rows minimum so it shows all the students. Let's go to our sheet here. But here we have entered 41. 
That's because the sheet we used to write this formula only had 40 students plus one header row. So we can change 41 to let's say 50 just to be sure. Now we are covered if any new student is added to our database. Let's have a look. But now we have zeros in our sheet because none of our sheets have students more than 45. We can fix this by removing any blank cell in our sheet to be considered for this formula. We can do that by using filters. Now we can simply filter out zeros and we are done. But let's be wild today and try the filter formula instead. Let's copy this so we can use this bit later on in our filter formula. Now we type our filter formula. This is going to be our array. We want to include this when it's not empty, but we will change the last reference from S50 to A50 so our formula will check from A1 to A50 and exclude all cells that are empty. Now we are covered for any future additions as far as they are not more than 50 in a sheet. Now that we have all this data, you can do all sort of things you want to do with it. You have already seen filters work fine, so does sorting, creating charts or any other formula for that matter. All these cells behave like a normal cell with data. Let me show you another example by adding 10 days to the date of birth. Let's add a column here and write our formula by adding plus 10 to the date of birth and it works fine. Now that you've seen some practical examples, you know that VStack by simply putting all the required data in one place allows us to be always updated and perform all sorts of calculations and reporting from a single sheet instead of multiple. So now it's your turn to unleash the full potential of VStack in your Excel projects. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more Excel tips and tricks. Thank you for watching and happy spreadsheeting.